Hey friends, welcome to Kids Worship at Canyon Creek Presbyterian Church. I'm Miss Emily, Director of Children's Ministries. And I'm Miss Sarah, Director of Children's Music. And welcome back to another week of Kids Worship. Yeah, we are so excited to get started with another week of Advent fun. But before we get started, let's go ahead and worship together. Welcome back. So we are going to dive into the next part of the Christmas story from the Bible. But first, we wanted to talk about something fun. Yes. So we're going to talk about our favorite Christmas movies. So it's such a magical time of year and there are so many Christmas movies out. I mean, Hallmark Channel mm -hmm. is just a staple of this time of year. Mm -hmm. So, what are some of your favorite Christmas movies? Mm -hmm. Well, okay. So, I like, I watch the Lifetime movies. That's what I've been watching this year, not the Hallmark ones, the Lifetime okay. ones. Because gotcha. <laughs> they do it too. So, I watch all those in the background. Um, and I really like Elf, of course. Mm -hmm. But my ultimate, all-time favorite Christmas movie is The Muppets Christmas Carol which I know is having a, like a resurgence of people appreciating it, and I'm so glad because I've loved it since I was a kid. That's a great one. I hadn't. The best. Yeah, I know. I hadn't even thought of that one when I was thinking through my favorites, but it's a good one. It's so good, and the soundtrack is so good. Yes. Oh, now I want to go watch it. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'd have to say I have a couple of them um, that I more like watch every year, like since I was a kid. Mm -hmm. The Grinch. Like the animated Grinch, the old one, yes. is one that I watch every year. Um, one that I found, so, I mean, of course, we all know about the Nutcracker. Mm -hmm. um, I found this ballet version of the Nutcracker mm -hmm. on YouTube with um, the kid from Home Alone. What's his name? Macaulay Culkin? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I feel like I remember this being a thing. Yeah, he's in this ballet and the, it's really good and the music <laughs> is amazing and it's so Christmassy and I found it last year and I love it. It's kind of a new tradition for us now. <laughs> That's so funny. I feel like I remember that because when I was a kid I was in the Nutcracker with the like Dallas Fort Worth Ballet. Like my nice. dance studio just happened to provide kids so I did the Nutcracker like in the big theater for several years so we I feel like I watched that because yeah. I that would have been on my radar <laughs> oh yeah 
<laughs> yeah, that's so cool. Um, so yeah, those are two that I really like. There are other ones that like, um, I like Miracle. Is it Miracle on 34th Street? Yes. That old one. I love that one. See, I like It's a Wonderful Life. That's I right. also like that one. So just so many good options. Yeah. That's all we watch in December. I, yeah. I really literally, after Thanksgiving, we watch no regular TV. It's yeah. just all Christmas all the time. I like uh -huh. to live in a, in a happy Christmas bubble. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, those are some of our favorites. Yeah. Think about yours and like what kind of things that you watch every year. What are some new things that you're watching these days? Anyway, it's such a fun, magical time and yeah, so many options. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot. Okay. So. Now that we've talked about our Christmas movies, let's go ahead and read the next portion of the Christmas story from Luke. Um, so we'll grab our Bibles. And last week we had finished reading about um, Gabriel visiting Mary and telling her that she was going to be with child. So now we know that Elizabeth, Mary's relative, is going to be with child, or is with child, and that Mary is also with child. So let's see what happens next. We are starting in Luke chapter 1, verse 39. At that time, Mary got ready and hurried to a town in Judea's hill country. There she entered Zechariah's home and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby inside her jumped and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. In a loud voice, she called out, God has blessed you more than other women, and blessed is the child you will have. But why is God so kind to me? Why has the mother of my Lord come to me? As soon as I heard the sound of your voice, the baby inside me jumped for joy. You are a woman God has blessed. You have believed that what the Lord has said to you will be done. Mary said, My soul gives glory to the Lord. My spirit delights in God, my Savior. He has taken note of me, even though I am not important. From now on, all people will call me blessed. The Mighty One has done great things for me. His name is Holy. He shows his mercy to those who have respect for him, from parent to child down through the years. He has done mighty things with his arm. He has scattered those who are proud in their deepest thoughts. He has brought down rulers from their thrones, but he has lifted up people who are not important. He has filled those who are hungry with good things, but he has sent those who are rich away empty. He has helped the people of Israel who served him. He has always remembered to be kind. To Abraham and his children down through the years, he has done it just as he said to our people of long ago. Mary stayed with Elizabeth about three months. Then she returned home. All right. So uh, we will continue reading the Bible story next week and um, see what comes next. So now Mary and Elizabeth um, are both with child with special babies blessed by God and now they're going to spend some time together and then we will see what comes next next week alrighty so now we are going to head over to do a special Christmas game mm -hmm. to win it game yes it's going to be really fun and you guys will be able to do it at home too so let's head over there and check it out all right guys we are here in our craft game room um and we are gonna do a minute to win it game so we've done one in a little while and we thought some christmas themed minute to win it games would be fun so all right we have a good one this week we are going to be unwrapping hershey kisses i have this big bag from my house of christmas hershey kisses <laughs> so we are going to take them one at a time and use these little toothpicks to try to unwrap them and see how many we can get unwrapped in a minute. Okay. All right. Should we dump them out so they're more yeah. easily accessible? Sure. Yes. Just a few out. I'm sure that's plenty. <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. Who knows? I'm a okay. little intimidated. You're... I, I think it's going to be not that bad. Fine. We'll see. Okay. So I'm going to set our one minute timer. We usually do. 
All right, you ready? Ready. Go. Oh, is that a minute already? <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness. How did you do so, so many more? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I got into a groove. Um, I don't know. Mine were like, slide, they wanted to slide away from me. Did you so, do? Oh, okay. Yeah. This blue one was giving me trouble. Mm. I said, did you do a lot of blue ones? No, I was about to, but okay. Well, that was fun. And now we have Hershey Kisses to eat. <laughs> Yeah. So um, maybe give it a try. Find some toothpicks. Um, you could do the same thing with, I don't know, any other kind of little thing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so definitely give it a try and let us know how it goes if you do. Yeah. Sorry, I have my mouth full. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Well, that was super fun. And let's join together in one more worship song before we go.
right, that was so much fun. Okay, so before we say our prayer and go, um, I want to make sure all of you know that we are having a special event on Christmas Eve called Drive Through Bethlehem. So um, since we can't have our traditional services inside the sanctuary this year, we are gonna have some cool, uh, really cool different experiences um, for Christmas, and this is one of those. So you'll come and drive through the parking lot uh, to see scenes of the Christmas story narrated um, with a video that you can play inside your car, and there's gonna be a couple of surprises along the way. So um, be sure to join us for that at 6.30 on Christmas Eve. Oh, that sounds like it's going to be so much fun. And don't forget to join us next week when we have our last Sunday of Advent and then also uh, on a special Christmas Eve kids worship that we're doing. Um, and then this week, don't forget to light your next Advent candle for love and talk about love with your family this week. Perfect. All right. So let's pray. Dear God, Thank you for this special season. Thank you for all of the ways that we can feel and share and spread joy. Help us to feel your spirit with us when we struggle to find the joy and help us to feel your spirit with us when we're full of joy. In Jesus name, amen. Amen. All right, guys, we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.